Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Let me turn myself up a little bit. Hi, hi, hi. How are you guys doing? Hi, Octo. Hi, Reese. Do you think Pichus, baby Pikachus, have a poor grasp on their electric abilities and have accidentally electrocuted people when they sneeze or something? Oh, probably. That'd be hilarious. How's it going, you guys? I'm really excited to be back. And with... Uh, I thought, like, okay, I'm gonna have to do, like, some... Like... Essentially, why I was super jazzed today about, um, by the way, please let me know about if, um, visually the stream's being weird or anything's happening or the sound, please let me know because I want to make sure everything's, everything's doing good. So let me know. Um, and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. I'm gonna need to make that louder. Octo, oh, no, thank you so much for 22 months in a row. If you notice, I changed the uh, the sound, and that was that's specifically just because like we were using. Um, hold on a second, I'm gonna fix the camera. Move myself so I'm on this side of the screen. Um, that was because. I've been using the Stone Cold Steve Austin music for a long time, and just with all the DMCA crap that's been going on with Twitch and whatnot, um, there when I was uploading stream uh, special anniversaries. Oh, I could do that for like two year anniversaries. That'd be good. Um, there is a one year anniversary one. I forget what. I don't remember what it is. I upgraded a bunch of stuff. For the stream um but yeah it was because of that it wasn't like anything like was actually being affected it was just that when i was then uploading streams regularly to youtube to the archive channel i noticed a lot of the like sometimes it would randomly catch the stone cold steve austin music for um copyright and so i just did it for that but then also just because like as much as I love having that as a sub sound, it's so long. I just wanted to make something that was short, nice, was triumphant, and was cool. And so uh, I chose the Final Fantasy music. Um, but thank you so much for coming and joining. I know that because since we haven't been doing this regularly for um, a while, and it is going to be a, a, a weird time for people, and I get that. Saturday afternoon is uh, might be a weird time for some people, if they're not used to it. And also, like, we haven't been doing this for a while, so it's going to take time to get people used to this is when the stream is. But it's the best time for me in my situation right now, so that's what it's going to be. A couple other things to note. Obviously, one thing that you can see is you can see the gym leader up there. I thought this would be a fun interactive thing. So if you do exclamation point gym leader, not a space. Why did I type a space? Why did I do a space? So yeah. So that's the, so I'm the current gym leader. And what that is, is uh, if, um, Sorry, getting distracted by stuffs. I'll go to um, that's a bit better. Uh, so uh, once this gets put down to zero, someone will become the new gym leader, and then they get to choose whatever Pokemon that they want to sit um there as their Pokemon for their gym, and also the gym leader can then uh also affect this i am getting a little bit of a little bit of drop frames but that's expect that's expected oh reese <laughs> i need to make that louder <laughs> i 
I love the British lady, though. I love it being the British lady, though. Perfect. Thank you so much, Reese, for 35, 35 months. That's ridiculous. Please don't ever leave again. <laughs> I I miss you guys too. I really did miss you guys too. I really do want to. Well, that's why I decided I want to go back to streaming or like try to because I really, really did want to do this more. I love doing it. I miss doing it. Pandemic's been obviously tough on us all. Um, and I, I, I'm, I, I've been thinking about doing like a just chatting, a just chatting stream for a while. Um, and there's a couple of things that I really want to then try to do along with this. Um, uh, and so I figured as soon as like I started getting back into Pokemon cards and card collecting and, and that sort of stuff. I figured, oh, well, this is the perfect time to do this. Like, why does the chat reset for some reason like that? I, oh, I think it's because I logged into Streamlabs to change the audio. Okay. I noticed that the chat log here randomly will update for no reason. Um, but yeah, I figured, well, this is the perfect time is I can do this and do this at the same time. And it works. So... It's going to take a bit of time to get people to, you know, come in. Um, I'm hoping that people that used to watch the stream will come back and watch the stream whenever. Obviously, like this is just going to be the what's going to happen. I figure three, three o'clock is a good time because a it's a Saturday. So people normally are off a septium. They might come back. Who knows? I <laughs> septium. <laughs> I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? Um, no, so, uh, uh, what I was trying to say is, you know, um, sorry, I'm just making sure that everything's working. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure everything's working. Um, this time works for me, is the main thing. This time works for me, and we're just gonna have to get used to it. When I do go to visit my apartment, I will then be able to stream on like different days, just like I have been doing. But I wanted to make something that was consistent, that was, it's the same time every single week. And that can be expected because I miss that. I miss streaming regularly. And so uh, I'm really happy that I found out that uh, Express B VPN uh, helps increase your speed. Uh, so this makes it a lot easier now dealing with all my internet issues, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So not much has changed in terms of the setup. I would just want to make this experience a bit more interactive. So that's why, because it is mostly just going to be chatting apart from, apart from opening up cards. Um, just because it's what I want to do and I hope that people enjoy it and get a crack out of me opening packs and maybe we'll find something that's super rare. Um, but so, uh, and my other plan is I hope to eventually implement allowing people to come onto the stream, um, in terms of like, uh, in terms of like, calling in like people that used to appear on the stream before um you know like anthony and jeff and everybody and and have them be able to come on and um uh show up and talk because this is just all about talking you know just hanging out and talking about whatever and then also uh have people in the community come on and hang out and talk about whatever they want to what they want to do so that's the hope is is it'll just be a fun community thing. Um, um, I edited a lot of the, the alerts just because of trying to make them fresher and new. Added some fun hidden alerts 
that will go off if certain things happen. Um, updated this look, so using my camera, using my lights, love it. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, you know, and just to enjoy and have fun with everybody, you know. Um, like I said, there's the new gym leader uh, bar there. So um, it's a stream boss, if people know what a stream boss is. So once that health is gone, whoever ends up defeating the stream boss, they will become the new stream boss. And then uh, whoever, and I might alter like how how big the health bar is, what happens to it and all that, but whoever becomes the stream boss gets to pick what Pokemon goes there. So I thought that'd be fun. Have the stream, have the chat here and everything. But anyways, I, I really wanna hear how you guys have been, what you guys have been up to. I see that Octo is talking about playing some Phasmo. We talked about the, uh, I got to play some games with, uh, Octo are okay. So maybe now we can actually play uh uh Uno. So a couple of weeks a couple of weeks ago, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, uh Octo, um Dan and myself uh and Emily got together to uh try to play Uno because I was really 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 wanting to play the Ubisoft Uno game. Because I watch um, Xavier Woods is a wrestler and he has a his WWE wrestler and he has a gaming channel called Up Up Down Down where a bunch of the other wrestlers are on it and they all play games together. And so I really wanted to play Uno and we tried for a solid like 40 minutes to try to connect to each other and invite each other to a game and it didn't work at all. Um... Uh, and that was all because of my, I, I swear it was all because of my, uh, my internet. I swear it was because of my internet. I was able to get the Uno to work when I played it solo the other day. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, it's playing it solo. I think it was because of my, I really do think it was because of my internet. Um, cause then we try to play some, some, uh, tabletop simulator and even that was having some issues because it's my ping it's my internet so hopefully i'm able to fix those things soon um who knows but uh the one cool thing is with express vpn it is making it faster so hopefully that helps but I also just love to hear what everybody else has been up to because, um, well, I've kind of already talked about everything that I've been doing. Um, but if people don't know what I've been up to, feel free to ask and I'll answer. Um, but anyways, so we were playing, yeah, we we're playing Uno and uh, uh, Emily, uh, Dan and Octo all said that I should definitely play Phasma with them and I still haven't played it. Um, um, I still haven't played it yet. Um, and, and, and I was talking to, when I last streamed at my apartment, I was playing Fall Guys with Maddox and with Pun, and, uh, we talked about doing, uh, Dead by Daylight one day, which would be fun. The, uh, the, uh, also the plan is I hope to start recording more gameplay videos and putting those on our YouTube channel. So that's the, also the other thing. That's the hope to be able to put stuff on there as well. Come join us, Marty. <laughs> uh, I really want to get Express. It's so much better than Nord. Nord is very affordable, though. Uh, I've only had experience with ExpressVPN. The only, th the only thing that I know about Nord, though, is I watch a lot of tech YouTubers. Like I watch uh, Jay's Two Cents, um, Bitwit, um, Paul's Hardware. I sometimes watch Linus Tech Tips. Um, not too much though. 
Uh, but I remember Jay's Two Cents doing a video about how he had Nord VPN as a uh, he had Nord VPN as a sponsor for a long time, and then they got hacked. Um, and so that's I don't know. I'm sure that they've probably fixed all that by now, but I know that that was a big thing at the time. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the content creators that I watch on YouTube all are sponsored by ExpressVPN. And so finally I caved. I was like, sure. Well, actually, no, I didn't cave. I got it solely for the fact. Um, I solely uh, uh, got it for the fact to watch wrestling <laughs> because the WWE Network, which is basically like the Netflix of WWE, um, is only available well it's available everywhere but for some reason in canada you have to pay for like a satellite cable subscription so you have to you have to like pay for yeah you have to pay for that and then you have to pay for uh wwe on top of that and then even then you don't get all of the specials it's like how netflix is only you can only get certain things in certain locations so um yeah, so I got it so that I could watch pay-per-views, so that I could watch specials, all that, all that stuff. <laughs> you pay like a hundred euros for three years if you get a code. Oh, okay. But I, I, as soon as I was just watching a corridor di digital video today, and uh, as soon as they had an ad for it, I was just like, mm, that's cool. And then I saw they talk about increased speeds. I was like, oh, shit. Does that work? And so then I did a speed test, saw my Internet speeds, then uh, turned on ExpressVPN, did it, another speed test, and it was like double the speed, which is crazy. <laughs> They had a private key in terms of encryption exposed so some hackers could track user activity, but that's been patched. In my experience, the thing, the fucking thing gets updated every week. I'm sure by now it's great. So I don't really, I can't really comment on, on NordVPN, but I can now say that more than just watching content from other uh, places, um, I love ExpressVPN because it means I can stream <laughs> at <a> solid speed. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was so surprised that it changed the speed so, like so dramatically. Um, but I've talked about how disgusting the internet situation is here at not sponsored. I know I should we should get sponsored. The the if anything the podcast if anything should get sponsored, it should be the podcast should get sponsored. I would love if the um I would love if the uh, uh, we really want to try to get a sponsor for the wrestling podcast um, and we've been looking into it, but we're still we still feel like we're babies in terms of the wrestling game. We need to get a guest who's like really notable We're we're trying. We're trying. If you encrypt data, uh, you get two options, symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Symmetric is with one private key, while asymmetric is a private and a public key. With the key, you can decrypt data so it's readable again. I think I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I understand. But yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's yeah, so it's either it's just private and it stays private or it's private and then become then can become public. So it can be unreadable or it can be unreadable and then readable again, which essentially is what a VPN does, right? Oh, both can become readable again. Then what's the difference? Is it just that it's two keys at the same time instead of one? I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm also hoping, I remember I streamed from here a while ago when I first moved up, like months ago. And I know that, um, feels like there's like white balance shit going on with the camera, I don't know. Um, what, what was I saying? Uh, 
I know that the uh, delay was super horrible when I um, streaming, so I hope it's better now. Uh, but the problem with symmetric encryption is that you have to give someone the private key. And how do you know that's safe? Ah, I see. I got 350 followers the other day, and I'm growing up like, ah, that's so exciting, Reese. Good on you for continuing to just uh, being consistent and, and keep trying. That's why I'm excited to come back and, and do the, Oh, yeah, the white balance on the camera is freaking out. Keeps getting warm and cold, warm and cold. I'll fix that in a second. Um, but yeah, no good on you. Uh, it's it's about consistency and about, but at the same time, it's not about. I I'm I'm. It was funny when streaming became started to become super popular and everybody thought, oh, I got to stream like five days a week doing whatever. It's like no, you just need to be consistent and. Uh, it's something that people know that they can go watch and like I feel bad that like I completely dropped off um um because I I hate that feeling of having have done that but it's just like life happens and things change and it for the first while um um for, for the first while I was really bummed out about it but now i'm but now i'm 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 fine with it and I'm, I'm not too bothered by it it's well especially now that i'm starting to do it again which is exciting so while with asymmetric encryption with the public key you can view private key data and vice versa i know i have a crate i don't really want to take off my hat right now but this is the longest my hair has ever been in my life. And it's ridiculous. Wonder if I have any followers? Let's check. Uh, it says you have one follower. <laughs> it says you have one follower. I also need to do something right here. Uh, I want to do something. Where where is the thing? Where's the thing? Can I do it straight from this window? Oh, that'd be so cool if I can. Can I? I can. Uh. There we go. I double my followers today. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll follow you. I'll follow you, Octo. I'll follow you. <laughs> Can I? How do I do that? I guess I have to go to your account. Where do I? Oh, there we go. There, I followed you. <laughs> there we go. I gifted Arabot a sub, so that that's a thing now. Um, reset. Uh, we have the same mic. Do you have the? Do you have the Wave One or the Wave Three? I have the Wave One because it was on sale. Because the waves have been so hard to find. You have a three? Okay, this is just a one. I didn't need to have a three. I got this on sale. It was just like a sudden flash sale on... Um, uh, I found it on Elgato's Instagram page, actually. I saw a post that... And they had just posted it where it said... Where it said... Uh, uh, it was like 30 bucks off. Get it, get it 
a while supplies last. I was like, I'm a, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> Cause I needed a new microphone because my old one was starting to cut in and out. And it was really annoying to edit the podcast with the old microphone. Oh you following my wife. <laughs> you following my wife. I am Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Thank you so much for the 23 months of being subbed. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous just seeing the the high numbers. Um, but thank you so, so, so much. No, no it's called stalking. <laughs> I've, I've got a blue snowball. I have a blue snowball around. I have it back in my apartment. I used that for a long time. It served me well over five years. Yeah, exactly. I got it on sale for 3% off too. Oh, nice. This isn't what it looks like. No, I'm just, I'm just here opening Pokemon cards. <laughs> Which we should do in a second here. I'm just going to fix the camera in a, for a hot second. Uh, okay, that looks good. I also had to swap out the battery because I didn't plug it in. <laughs> but now the camera's plugged in and it's all good. Yeah, the blue snowball, it's it's like when I bought it, it was super cheap. It was super easy and it just worked, which is really all that matters when it's just like, just need a microphone, just need a start. Just... Just do that. Really easy. Um, never had any problems with it apart from Steam, which had a weird glitch for half a year. Hmm, weird. You have a cam link? No. Uh, well, kind of. Um, I used the cam link, the Elgato cam link for a while and it kept freezing. And I think it's because it kept overheating. Um, so what I have now is I just have a regular, um, I've used both the Razer Ripsaw capture card and also the Elgato HD60S. And I just use that with my camera. So I have my Sony A7S II, uh, which is my filmmaking camera. And um, I just have that going into a capture card. Why is it still freaking out with the auto? I don't know. I'm not going to. I don't care. <laughs> well, back up voice. He's done. Stream's done. <laughs> Camera turn off. Can't take anything called snowball seriously. <laughs> All I can think about is the, the sex move. Oh, no. I'm just, okay. 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 I got to I got to look this up now. Snowball Urban Dictionary. Just the word. Just. Just the word. Just the word cumgasm immediately makes me feel dirty. <laughs> hey! Only use VPNs for Googling how to spell basic words L-U-L. <laughs> oh, for some reason that wasn't that loud. Why wasn't that loud? Did I not save it? Okay, I'm going to turn that up all the way to 100%. Hopefully that makes the voice louder. Thank you so much, Sept, for eight months. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Creepster Gamer. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Can't have the FBI thinking I'm stupid, can I? <laughs> I, I? I don't know. I, there are some times where I feel really sad about, like, how do I spell that word? I'll just Google it really quickly. So I don't know if this is the correct. 
Okay, no, this is the correct. This is the correct. Okay, this is the correct definition of what Octo was saying. And or I'm I'm assuming because I see multiple ones. It's just that the first one that's on Urban Dictionary is so foul. <laughs> it's so foul. <laughs> The second one is a lot more just like, this is what it is. This is what, this is what snowball is. Um, but the first one is so foul and gross that I can't even. Um, so I might as well show off what we're going to do today. I as well put my sleeves over here in case we find anything. So, um, snowball is about chickens. Sure. So um, I bought this last night. This is the Galarian Surfetched V box uh, at the Walmart that we go to. There's not really a big selection, so I have to order things online. But like whenever we go in there, I just browse the card section and I saw this there and I saw it has some uh, Darkness Ablaze packs in it. So I figured, oh, I might as well pick this up and open it. There's a couple of packs there. Um, the main thing is I'm going to be opening this. So this is actually, if you don't know, we have a card camera. I'm going to have to fix the friggin card camera because of course all the settings got changed. Of course, all the settings got changed. Uh, okay. If it will autofocus, I need to get a. I didn't turn off the autofocus. I don't know why. So this is so okay. I actually do have that Lego cam has been demoted to card cam. I do have this. I don't know if having me here helps or not. I'm just going to actually I can leave myself here for a while. I also do have ch I also can put chat back up here, so I might as well just leave that there. Um, so this is um, uh, a collect the uh, set Japanese set called Legendary Heartbeat, and it's from the uh, Sword and Shield set, obviously, because you can see there's uh, Sword and Shield specific Pokemon. Um, so the um this specific set um i'm just gonna go ahead and put chat underneath here so this specific set um what we're trying to pull is this jirachi which is currently worth well actually no it would be nice to get jirachi um i always uh I always forget some of these Pokemon's names, so you'll have to bear with me. There's a Rayquaza, there's a Raikou. I believe this is called Hero's Cape, maybe? Um, or on Tango, Tangu? It's from Sun and Moon, so I'm not too familiar. But anyways, so yeah, so we're trying to get, we're trying to get this Jirachi. Um, there's an Al Creamy as a cake. There's an Al Creamy there. Um, so yeah, so there's a few, there's a Celebi. There's a few rare cards that we're gonna be trying to pull today. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. And then I also have, if we get through those pretty quickly, cause Japanese uh, booster boxes only have uh, 20 packs in them. Um, I do have these uh, collections that I bought online uh, off of Facebook Marketplace that I don't remember what's in these. I don't remember what is in these at all. So we'll have to see. Anyways. Um, I have a Canon 250D for stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I only have I have a webcam, so 
it's not great. Eventually, I do want to upgrade. I'm going to save to get a secondary camera that will work. But for now, this is just what we got. But yeah, so uh, this is in a Magic the Gathering box, but it's just a bunch of cards. Um, yeah, so be opening these up maybe as well. We'll see. But we might as well go with the Galarian Surfetched Pack for now. I also need to bring, I also left my uh, stream deck back at my apartment and I need to get that and get that up and running so I can switch cameras easily. I hope that people enjoy this because I I genuinely seriously love opening cards. I've loved opening cards for a long time. If anyone got to tune in to me the last time I was at my apartment, opening up cards um, and look at or no, not opening up cards, looking at my old collection, like going back to that collection. I was like, oh, my God, this is. Yep, I'm hooked. I'm hooked again. I'm hooked again. This is great. Enjoy this. Oh no, I'm here against my will. What cake did you end up getting, Sept? By the way, you said you were gonna go get some cake. What cake did you get? End up getting? I'm. I'll probably end up showing off my collection once I have it. I have it in like an old binder that I haven't touched in forever, and I want to like put it into a nice new binder in order and everything. Um, and so I will eventually get to. I will eventually show it off. Um, but we shall we shall see. Uh, it was my grand's birthday. We celebrated online and she gave each family a cake. I'm eating a pace now. Ooh, nice. What kind though? What kind of cake? I want to be either jealous or not at all. I probably still would be jealous. I want a gran. <laughs> it's an ed it's a regular cake with an edible cup. Okay, but what does regular cake mean? <laughs> what, is, what does regular cake mean? Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, <laughs> red velvet, <laughs> ice cream, carrot. <laughs> What kind of cake is that? It's regular. <laughs> it's just regular cake. Layered with vanilla cake, bit of chocolate. Okay, mm, that's good. That is good. That is good. Okay. Um, so this pack uh, immediately comes with. Obviously, it's a it's a um, it's a like booster box sort of pack. So it comes with promo cards. Um, these promo cards are not that much really at all um i have tcg player pulled up here which also is a great app by the way um um so you can see the galarian sir fetched promo it's only a dollar 20 and then even the jumbo card is a dollar 27 usually pro promo cards are there are some promo cards that are surprisingly like really expensive. Um, but I'll sleeve this one anyway, just because it's shiny and it's foil. So. So it's not frosting. So is it fondant? Or it is just frosting. In Dutch, it's also spelled fondant, just pronounced, just pronounced like it is in Dutch. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that. That's cute. And move things around here. This is the first official stream like this, so I this will be a trial and error of how things 
go. Okay, so then it comes with four packs. We got uh, two Darkness Ablaze packs. We got an Evolutions pack, which by the way, Evolutions is ridiculously overpriced right now. <laughs> so Evolutions came out during X and Y, and it's all the old, well, it's not all the old cards. It's a bunch of the old original base set cards, like are the first couple of editions. So if you don't know, here I'll show this off um, for people. So this is a site called Dawn Glare. It's really good for Magic the Gathering, but they have a really good Pokemon visualizer. Um, so obviously people know the base set, you know, the, the Charizard, you know, Blastoise, Venusaur, all that stuff, obviously. Um, uh, but so X and Y, um, I can't spell. Um, X and Y. I just wanted to find booster box case. Um, X, Y, evolution, evolutions, booster. Okay, booster box. It's currently priced at $900. $900 for a booster box. Booster boxes are like normally like between $150 to $200. And even some are like $120. It is $900. It's all because it has a goddamn Charizard. <laughs> Charizard is the only reason why anyone gives a shit about e evolutions. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the Charizard. <laughs> but then even then, the Charizard's not worth that much. If I go to XY Evolutions, you know, it's 130, it's it's still, like that's still a, that is still a, a pricey card. But you can see like, obviously what people care about are the Charizards. People want the Charizards. People, people want the Charizards. So, yeah. Um, so we have an evolutions, we got darkness of blaze and we got sword and shield base set. Um, so out of the sword and shield base set. Mo the top card is a Marnie secret rainbow rare. And then just the regular hollow foil Marnie trainer card. Um, and then for darkness of blaze. You got it's Charizard again. I know it's Charizard. Yep, it's a Charizard Charizard V Max, hundred twelve dollars. So we'll see what we pull from this. We'll see. Let's start with the Sword and Shield. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah, no Charizard. It's literally Charizard inflation. We got a Ghastly right off the top. I love me Ghastly. Ghastly's my fave. There's the code card. I'm I like keeping the code cards. One, two, three. Do three to the front. One on the back should be a energy. It's a grass energy. And then we'll see. So we have we got Hitmachan. We got a Galarian Laloon. We got a Seeking. So there's our uh uh um, there's our uncommons, those three. We got a ghastly, we got a poniard, we got a sizzle, sizzlepede. One of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. I loved him so much. We got Yamper, we got a Clobopus. Okay, Clobopus was, is such a great, is such a well designed Pokemon. I love this and then his evolution. And then we have a Sinistee reverse hollow foil which is pretty cool. And then our rare is a Camerant, non-hollow, which is probably worth, uh, it's probably worth nothing. Let's see. Camerant. Okay. 
29 cents. 29 cents for a Cramorant. But I will sleeve up good old Sinistee. Oh, I hate the autofocus on this dang webcam. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn off autofocus. There we go. Let's go there. Sinisty. He clobbered an octopus. <laughs> And then Clob Clobopus turns into um oh I forget. Um it's a it's an octopus that that boxes you. This is a cup. This is just a cup. It's a cup of tea. And it's 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 move is tea time. Each player draws two cards. There you go. <laughs> Get the energy out of here. No one cares about energy. Uh, let's do evolution. Uh, no, let's do. We'll do evolutions last because it's a ghost cup. Hey, bullet, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, which one should we do? Should we do the Charizard first, or should we do the Eternus uh, pack first? It is a ghost cup. Grapp locked. That's what. That's what it was. Grapp locked was the is is them, and it, they're just boxing octopuses, which are great. Well, like, well, a uh, clobopus is a boxing octopus, while then grapp locked is like a UFC fighter octopus, which is great. Reese is the red one. This one. We should do this one first. Let's do it. How are you, bullet? Welcome on in. Take the right? Okay, well that was what this one was, so we're good there. No, you're right. That's which, oh, oh funny, ha ha ha, funny, funny. So this is Darkness Ablaze, so what we're looking for is a, we're looking for the Charizard. Uh, so get rid of that. We go one, two, three to the front. It's then an energy card. I'm gonna guess it's water. Nope, it was fire. All right, let's see. Our on commons, we got Corvusquire. We got Rose, who I seriously thought was gonna be a way bigger bad guy in the game, but uh, we got Vanillish, Vanillish, uh, Wishy Washy, Kufant. Qfant, Qfant, is that it? Qfant? Yeah, Rose is, uh, if you didn't play Sword of Shield, Rose is like the guy who runs the Pokemon tournaments. He's like the head of the Pokemon tournaments. Qfant, we got Dieno, Panseer, Mareep, a reverse holo foil, Mimikyu, which I love Mimikyu. Very cool. And then, ooh, Vicavolt V. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see where Vicavolt V stands on our Darkness Ablaze. It's somewhere. It's worth nothing. Is it not worth anything? Oh no, it's four dollars. This is a four dollar card. Not terrible. It's not the worst. It's a four dollar card. It's not a super rare, <laughs> but it's not worth any. It's not worthless. So that's good at least. I have already ordered more sleeves because now I'm actually starting to like actually sleeve my cards. Correctly. We got the Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. 
Such a cool Pokemon. And then Vicavolt V. Lovely. It is so cute and spooky. I love it. Uh, I'm fine just getting through day by day. How has life been for you, Bullet? I know that we haven't talked um, much because I haven't been streaming much. How has your how's your life been, my friend? Hope it's been good. Um, you don't uh, you don't know if you love Mimikyu. No one has ever seen one and lived. It's just a costume. That's true. It takes it takes you over. <laughs> um, is it PogChamp? Yeah. Okay. So if you didn't know, the guy who was PogChamp, um, is a piece of shit human being. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, they removed him as PogChamp, and he, and now what they do is every day they rotate a new PogChamp. So, don't crush my spirit ball catcher. Lavatar, I know, Lavatar's on top. All right, one, two, three, to the front. Um, I'm gonna go for Steel. Hey, nice, look at that. I got that right. All right. Our uncommons, we got Ursa Ring. I love Ursa Ring. Ursa Ring's from uh, just second gen, and I love, I love Teddy Ursa, I love Ursa Ring, so good. Uh, Rose Tower, that's the final level in the game we got Simiseer, which we had Pansier before this is Simiseer now Lavatar, Nicket I did like Nicket in Sword Shield Bound Sweet it's a little cute clay clay Bound Sweet I love these cards when they do um <clears throat> I love these cards when they do uh like the clay model pitchers or the yarn model pitchers those are fun we got snubble we got melton we got a reverse hollow galarian mr mime pretty cool and our rare for the pack is uh thievel not hollow there's a regular old thievel very cool very cool Boop. Okay, and the last one for the uh, Surfetched box is a pack of Evolutions. Let's see what we get. I, sh I honestly, I could probably save this and sell it for a ton of fucking money. Oh no, Lavatar is super cool. Lavatar is cool because Tyranitar is cool. I 100% agree. All right. So these look exactly like the original base set cards but they aren't. Sell it for $2,000. I know, right? That's the thing is like, I guess I could, I guess I could hold on to these packs and, and just keep them. Uh, what I've been doing is, um, or what I'm definitely gonna do with the, uh, the booster boxes is I'm keeping one pack from a booster box and I am keeping that to see. Maybe eventually I'll sell it, but just, also I like the idea of like having an unopened pack. Um, but yeah, so these, if you don't know, these are like the original cards. The big difference is, and I've seen a lot of people fucking do this online. I've seen a lot of goddamn people doing this online is they're like, oh, look, I'm selling a bunch of base set cards. And it's like, no, because I can clearly see the evolution symbol at the bottom of the cards. So no. <laughs> life is life working in insurance. This time of year sucks. Ooh, I can imagine. But I'm hoping that now with we're getting back to regular streaming um, that we'll be able to be a source of entertainment for you. So I know Tubby Pikachu is so cute. The original Pikachu design is so cute. Um, I'm just going to quickly before we see what else cards we got here, what other cards we got here, just remind some people that have come in don't really know too much. Like we're I'm coming back to stream regularly. It's gonna be this time every Saturday. Uh, here, chatting with you, opening cards, looking at card collections um, as like the side thing. Uh, entertainment, don't make me laugh. 
Thanks, Sept. Um, I have the chat here, obviously, so um, we can talk to you. I'm hoping to bring on people to actually join like a voice chat and talk with. Um, so it's kind of like a talk show podcast as well. Uh, and then I do have a stream boss up here, which this is the gym leader that I'm calling it. Right now, I'm the gym leader. Um, if this gets down to zero, whoever lead, whoever defeats the gym leader is that uh, gives the last blow to the to the gym leader. They will get to choose. They will become the new gym leader, and they get to choose what Pokemon goes here. Um, so right now, mine is a Squirtle. Um, I might change how this works um, with like the health. Like I just set it to a number and just trying it out. So I'm going to see how this works out and we'll see how that goes. But all right. So we got Chubb Pikachu. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to make a guess saying. Agron. You could get Agron on stream. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted this. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make a guess grass. Oh, never mind. That was, damn it. Oh, do they not have? Oh, there's no, oh, damn it. There's no, uh, there's no thing in here. Damn it. There's no, uh, energy cards. Oh, well, there we go. That was a far fetch. <laughs> Dang it. So I revealed the rare. Okay. Well, we got Poliwhirl. We got a full heal trainer card. We got Porygon, which Porygon was a rare originally, but now it's an uncommon. Pikachu, Staryu, Onyx, Weedle, Machop with a big fucking arm. Look how big that arm is. Look how big that fucking... Don't fuckle with the shuckle. <laughs> Look how big his arm is. Ooh, reverse foil Arcanine. And then uh, Farfetch'd. Reverse foil Arcanine's cool. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna look up evolutions just to see what, again, like nothing from evolutions is worth anything except for the Charizards, but I wanna see what else there is. There's also like a bunch of special cards in there. Uh, reverse foil Arcanine is not even listed on Don Glare, and Don Glare lists anything that's above two dollars. So, bam, 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 bam. But I like it. That's so cool. Dog. He's a dog. He's a dog. Why have people gone so crazy for Pokemon cards now? Because it's the 25th anniversary of the, uh, it's the 25th anniversary of the card game. So, um, because it's the 25th anniversary, a lot of prices have gone up. Like the market price has gone up, um, which is exciting. You know, um, there's a card game, uh, I, I I know everybody is in the same, a lot of people are in the same boat as my situation where you collected cards, you never played the game. <laughs> um, it wasn't until Pokemon uh, TCGO, which is the Pokemon trading card game, trading card game online. Um, that actually taught me how to play. I was like, oh my God, it, there's like a whole thing to this game. It's actually really cool. Um, but, you know, uh, not a lot of people, like, there's a big, deep community in the actual playing of it, but I definitely don't really care too much about playing it. I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was younger, which is funny because now I don't understand or follow Yu-Gi-Oh! whatsoever. Because, played the guard game with my sister before? Nice. It's actually a fun game. It's just that it was... At the time, like no one knew how to play it, but like the card, the online card game perfectly explains it. And it's super fun. Mr. Octo and I have a tradition that we call 
all the we call the Pokemon by the wrong names. I do like the fire cat slash dog. Arcanine is actually based off of a Japanese le uh, legend, and it's technically supposed to be a god. Um, but obviously it's not a super rare card or super rare Pokemon, but it is meant to be a god. As in Japanese lore, there is the dog who is a god. All I know from Yu-Gi-Oh! is the YouTube means. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! but mainly magic. Yeah, po magic, what, magic is the thing I never got into because I just never knew too much about it. I had friends who played it, but they never really taught me anything about it, so. But I know a lot of people play it. I played Arena for a while, and that was fun, but I would love to play Commander way more. But again, I don't have the means of a having a deck. Um, I don't have I don't have a deck. Uh, you need to really invest in cards. I mean, you don't really need to invest in cards, but I know that like you can buy like a pre-made deck and that's fine. But like um, it's something that you can't. You need to play in person. I know there are ways you can play it online. Um, I'm I remember Alex. Snuggles McSwiggles. Uh, was telling me about ways that you can play online, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'd love to do that because I love Commander. I love watching Commander games. They're super fun. You're supposed to be legendary or at least pseudo legendary, but things change. Yeah. Shout out to Yugi. No, I played. I played Yu-Gi-Oh so much in in school. I loved Yu-Gi-Oh, um, but then like it's because I we fought like I was at the perfect age where you followed along with the show and you bought the cards, you bought the toys and played them along with the show. So um, that's what we did. And it was it was super fun. Um, but then once they started, in, they started introducing like a bunch of like they introduced the white cards. I think they're called synchro or whatever. Like they introduced that, and then I just I just couldn't follow it anymore. I'm in the Avatar: The Last Airbender generation. I'll stay. I say I still need to. I still need to watch that show. I still need to watch that show. I know everybody loves the show, and I need to watch it. Yeah, for sure. Um. All right, cool. So that was those. I mean, not too bad. I mean, getting this Vigavolt's cool. It's not like the rarest card, but I do like getting this Arcanine. and that's nice. That's our rares from that. Uh, so again, the main thing that I'm going to be opening today is this legendary heartbeat set. We're going to open that in a second. Also, if we get through that pretty quickly, because there's only 20 packs in it and I'm going to be saving one pack. So we're only going to be opening 19. I do have these. Um, so I've also what I've also been doing is I've also been buying. Um, collections from people online off of Facebook market. Um, uh, I talked about this on the last stream where I was talking about cards. There's a site that we use here. It's like Craigslist. I know it's used in some parts of the States, but it's called Kijiji. And it's just like a buy and sell. Um, it's, just, it's just a buy and sell website. It's like Craigslist. Um, but I've been like hitting people up trying to buy like old collections. So I know that. And the problem is that now people aren't trying to just sell like old collections. They're like finding their really, really rare cards and trying to sell those for like the cash. But I've been trying to find the people who are just like, I just want to get rid of all my cards and sell them. So I've found some and I have a bunch of other ones that I've been collecting that I haven't opened yet. I sort of remember what's in this one. I don't remember at all what's in this one. So it'll be an adventure for the for all of us. I need a trash bin. This crap. Um <laughs> priority number one, watch Avatar Last Airbender. Should I watch the movie first? 
Uh, you couldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! along with Season 1. They cheated. Yeah. <laughs> we were super confused. We're like, wait, so you can just play a card whenever you want? And then once they reveal, like, oh no, like, once you realize, like, oh no, you have to sacrifice cards in order to play other cards, it's like, oh, that makes so much sense. All right. <laughs> there is no movie. The movie does not exist. What are you talking about? You're crazy. All right. So this is Pokemon Legendary Heartbeat. This is a part of the, uh, um, this is a part of the Sword and Shield set. The, po the Japanese sets work. Um, they like the, the Jap, like the American sets where it's like, here's, uh, so, uh, a pa uh, I have upstairs, um, a set of, do I need a knife or something? Can't open the, the, the plastic. <laughs> I can't open the plastic. Um, the, uh, there's a new set coming out in March, um, but the set before that was called Vivid Voltage. Um, in Japan, that set is broken into like th uh, two or three different sets. This is one of them. Um, while in the North American side, they like take two or three different sets from the Japanese side and they put it all into one thing. I can't open this. I need like scissors. I should have thought this ahead. I'm gonna just see. There. Oh man, I sure hope that Kaiba doesn't realize that face down card is just my suspended driver's license. Is that from like the Yu-Gi-Oh dubs? Those are always pretty funny. Alrighty, and I love opening these. I love I love opening these so they're like the the display. Yugi no, I'll have to check that out. Look at this. I love how they have these. So this is like this is how they present it in Japan, and it's so much cooler than how it is here. So then this flips down into here. So that there's your display. And then they have these here that flip out so you can have QR codes to scan if you're just like browsing. And then all their packs are for hanging. And the packs also only have seven cards in it. Packs only have seven cards in them. So it's a lot less. But so. <laughs> Sorry, let me go to the wide. Let me go to the let me go, let me go to here. There we go. I'll save that probably or I won't. <laughs> All right, so we have 20 packs. We have 20 packs. I'm going to save one of them just for collecting sakes. Um, I'm going to let, um, let's see, how do I decide this? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, uh, Sept, because you are the latest one to subscribe to the channel, I'm going to let you pick, watch him save the pack. I know exactly. That's that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. Okay, Sept, because you are the person that just recently subscribed, uh, pick a number between 1 and 20. And that will be the pack that I... That will be the pack that I don't open. Posted in the Dank Mean sandal? I'll have to check that out. Okay. Oh, I love the animation. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check that out. I do like that they have it so that it can go on a rack.
I don't know if Sep stepped away from his computer or not. <clears throat> oh, did I close Wavelink? Oh, I did. Whoops. Oopsies. That's fine. Um, oh, or is chat frozen? Is chat frozen? Someone say something. Oh, okay, bullet's here. Bullet, then you pick. Bullet, you pick a pack between... No, <laughs> okay. Bullet, I'll let you pick uh, a pack. Pick a, uh, a number between 1 and 20. And that'll be the pack that I don't open. I did sort of shuffle these from inside the box, so I have no clue. <laughs> I know the way that you figure out is that you, you like, roll a d20. That would be smart. That would be smart. If bullet has a number or I can draw, I can try to roll a d20. I don't, I don't think I, oh no, I definitely do have 13. Okay. I definitely did bring dice with me actually. Now that I remember it, I definitely did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is the pack. This is the pack that will not be opened. I'm putting it safely over here. That's the pack that I will not open at all. Um, yes, Octo, you can pick a pack that I open first. And then basically all I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna take whatever number you say, I'm gonna take that and swap it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, that's that. I'm then gonna. Now it's all shuffled up, but this is the first pack. Your right bullet. That would have been faster. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do it that way? See, okay, here's the thing. I'm the type of person. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just talk about this now. I'm the person. You know when you play board games and there's two types of people. They roll the dice and they're like, "Oh, I gotta move ten spaces." There's the people that go. They just do it because they know how many spaces it is. I'm the person that goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> so all right so there's seven cards in here uh i looked it up online to try to figure out how i should go about opening these um because with the normal packs uh you um and actually what's great about the japanese packs is they have a tear line on these which is awesome um is that you uh you switch the bat you switch the last two cards um, because it goes your uh, commons and uncommons, and then it goes your hollow, secret, rare, rare, whatever, and then your uncommon. No, it's your it's your commons, and then you're like rare than secret rare. So you take the last two cards, you switch them, and then you go from there. We got a Clefairy. I also, by the way, I love. I love the look of these cards. They're so cool. Like this for like this is obviously very iconic. You know, the swirl. But like I just love love the energy. I love the style. I love the look. It just looks so cool. Got myself a cup of tea, but my tea bag asked me a question. And I'm curious for you, all of you. Your tea bag asked you a question? All right. <laughs> I also love the silver bullet. Like, the, the yellow border is very iconic. I love the silver border. I don't know why. It's cool. It's different. 
We got Clefairy. We got Kakuna. We got Ooh Shuckle. Who is who is talking about Shuckle? Was it Unceptium? Would you prefer to celebrate your birth? Who would you sell prefer to celebrate your birthday with? How many pots have you smoked? <laughs> was it was it bullet saying talking about shuckle? Who is who is saying shuckle? Who is talking about shuckle? Don't fuckle with shuckle. There you go. There's shuckle for you. Oh oh oh! We got a ho we got a is that a reverse? No, that's a holographic. Oh, what the hell is his name? What in the hell is his name? Oh, what the fuck is his name? It is one he's from Oh, it's from fucking Diamond and Pearl. Dialga. It di I do not know Diamond and Pearl at all. But that's a cool card. You can't really see you can uh, you can see the hollow in the edge in the in the border way more than you can see it in the actual in the actual uh frame you can see it in the border oh there you go there you, you can see a bit of a bit of shine that's cool that's cool hollow that's a rare oh we got a quags quagsire or no that uh, yeah that's a quagsire whooper than quagsire oh we got a trainer card this is our ultra rare. That is... I can't remember his name. And then we got... Ooh, that's a cool art. Clefable. I like that. So yeah, so you can kind of see... The way that they do the ratings is... You, a C is common. R is rare. U is uncommon, I think. Oh no, it's ultra. Uh, it's all. I think it's ultra rare. Hold on a second. I remember looking this up. Uh, let's see. Um. No, U is uncommon. Sorry. R is rare. U is uncommon. It's common, uncommon, rare, um, double rare, triple rare, super rare, uh, super shiny rare, shiny, or secret, hyper rare, ultra rare, amazing rare. How did you pull majority of one evolution line? I don't know. It's interesting. But yeah, because you got Clefairy and Clefable. So yeah, so we got... So I switched the last two, which didn't do anything. That was our rare, which is in the middle. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. Because yeah, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. So I guess we'll just do the three, because if this is our rare, then we'll do the three cards to the front next time, because then it'll be our uncommons, our commons, and then our rare. But hey, look at that. Shiny Dialga. I don't get birthdays anymore. My wife and I share the same day, so she gets a birthday. <laughs> well, you know what? That's very nice of you to... Uh, celebrate her birthday over yours. Oh wait, yeah, so your tea bag asked you is it who you'd like to celebrate with or how do you like to celebrate with? I need to read that again. Who would you prefer to celebrate your birthday with? 
I mean, it would be friends for sure. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say friends and family. I don't really have any like anyone super close that's like, oh, I would love to be spending my birthday with this person. It's just like, no, nah, I'd like to be around family and friends. So, um, I might as well show this off. Oops, no. So, okay. So, yeah. So, this is how... So this is how Japanese cards are rated. So as you know, like the normal Pokemon cards are like a circle, a diamond, a, 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 a trapezoid, no, a, di a, a diamond star. Uh, and then it's like shiny or, or then there's like super secret rares, which are like three stars, but this is how they do it. So it's uh, common is C, uncommon is U, rare is R. Then there's double rare, triple rare, super rare, super secret rare, shiny rare, hyper rare, <laughs> ultra rare, and then amazing rare. And this is the card that we're, this is the card that we're looking for right here. This is the card that we're looking for right here in this set. So. I can spend my birthday alone, aside from Mr. Octo. <laughs> I will celebrate the day, uh, the day, another day, if someone wants to game or have a party, but the day itself is mine to be antisocial. Hey, that's fair. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it says you can get up to one amazing rare card per box. Unofficially confirmed. Unofficially confirmed, so we don't know. We don't know. Wait, I always forget they have a tear. I just don't want to damage the cards at all. So then we'll do one, two, three to the front. So these are our uncommons. We got Giraffe Rig. Lovely uh, Gen 2. Oh, um, oh, what's his name? What's what the heck? There's some Pokemon that I'm just like, I don't remember. Um, I know that's Elec, Elec, El, Elec, Electric. Yeah, that's Electric. And then I forget what that one is, but Electric Dog Pokemon. Trainer. I forget her name, but she's something. She's something for sure. Uh, we got Matang, I believe. Minetric is was the was that was is the doggy. It's Beldum, Matang, and then it's what's the third one? I forget. Yet we got a Weedle, cute little Weedle, Metacross, right? We got a cute little Weedle. Oh, there we go. We got Electric. Yeah, we got Evolutions. And then our rare, ooh, is Xerneas. Or no, that's not Xerneas. What's, oh, is it I f X and Y, Diamond, Pearl, X and Y? I'm like so lost on. No, this is, it's not Xerneas because Xerneas is the, oh no, or is it? Yeah, this is Xerneas, right? This is the X. I believe this is Xerneas. That's cool. Nice little foil card again. I like it. I like it a lot. Don't mind my hairy arms, please. Don't mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. Just sleeving up this bad boy. I hope everybody's enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Not only opening cards, but like just getting to hang out with everybody. Like I really like just hanging out and talking. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, X and Diamond and Pearl. I, I also I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Uh, 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 Sapphire and 
Oh wait, not Sapphire. What am I talking about? Oh, Ruby. No, Ruby and Sapphire. I know Ruby and Sapphire a little bit. I'm way more familiar with, obviously, Gen 1 and Gen 2. Um, but... Um... Ruby and Sapphire I know a bit about. Diamond Pearl I was totally lost on. Uh, X and Y I was lost on. Didn't play any of that. Black and White I did play a bit of. Um, I just know that people... There's a love-hate relationship with black and white. There's a lot of people who really love black and white. And there's people who are like, oh, come on, you made a garbage Pokemon. You made a you made a, 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 a ice cream Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon ever is from black and white, and it's Chandelure. I love Chandelure. Um I I did play I did play Sun and Moon a bit, not too much. Um, and then I played short sword and shield all the way through. I keep forgetting there's a damn rip. There's a dang rip. There's more than two sides of the black and white debate. What's the other? What are the other sides? <laughs> Is it a cube instead of a coin? I like to swing from the chandelier. Not to joke. Okay. I'm clearly lost on the joke. All right, let's see what we got. We got Toucan Sam. No, it's Pill. Uh, I know it's Pitapec, uh, Pillapec, or something like that. I just forget what the Toucan's name is. But wait, there's more. I know it. And then, yeah, there's a Toucan. Oh, I forget his name. But yes, that's the Galarian version where he's uh, like a bear trap. Sunkisk. Sunkisk. That's Galarian Sunkisk. I think oh, we got a great ball. All right, we got a Rilu, Rilulu, Execute. I know that guy. Oh, we got a Joltik. I do like Joltik. I do like Joltik. And our rare is, ooh, oh yeah, this this thing. It's a robot fucking maid bug thingy. Vas Vas Queen. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> I do like these rares. I do like I do like these rares. No, no, Vest Queen is, or is Vest Queen the B Pokemon? Oh, wait, this is a legendary. Who is this? I need to know who this is. I've seen I've seen this Pokemon before. I just don't remember. Come on, you can scan. Okay, you don't want to scan. Legendary robot made. <laughs> uh, let me look this up because <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> uh, legend. I'm literally looking up legendary robot made Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Magirna. Magirna is a steel fairy mythical Pokemon from Generation 7. There you go. Is this where is this where Sun and Moon just went like, okay, we're just gonna add a ton of ridiculous uh uh like legendaries that no one's gonna know anything about i i didn't play that far into but hey there you go magirna very cool very cool she really cleans things up in the end <laughs> love it Is there are other pull areas that's just there Hey, Rob Michaels, how's it going, man? How are you doing, Rob? Somebody say hi. I hope that you're doing well, dude. One, two, three. 
If only she could clean the bad Pokemon away. <laughs> Legendaries don't really count like that. They're usually tied to movies. Oh, I see. Love Pokemon cards, never know how to actually battle. We were talking about that before. We were talking about how, but if you actually do want to learn how to play them, the best source is uh, Pokemon TCG Online. It's great. Um, it actually explains how to play the game really well and it's free and you get car like you basically play to get cards or when you buy packs, you can get these code cards to uh, download packs and download decks and stuff like that. It's really fun and it's actually really easy to play once you get hang of it. But that's the problem is you no one ever explained to us as kids how to play the game. And I was saying the exact same thing, Rob. I think that's why Yu-Gi-Oh is popular. I played the shit out of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know how to play it now because there's so many new cards that I don't understand. Like when I was playing it, you had creature cards. Uh, you know, you had ones that are, it's still going. All these games are still going 100%. They just added a ton of like different cards in that. I don't know, like synchro cards and like, I don't, I don't know, but like I played like it was, you know, you had you had creature cards. There was ones that had effects, ones that didn't. You had fusions, you had rituals. That was easy to understand. You had, then you had spell cards and trap cards. Not too hard. Now there's like so much other stuff that doesn't make any sense. But so um, what we've been opening is uh, these are Japanese um, packs from the new Sword and Shield sets. Um, this isn't exactly new. This is from like November or whatever, but I'm going to leave a lurk while I do some work. No problem, Rob. Thanks for popping in. Hopefully we'll be able to have you on stream sometime. Because that's what I'm kind of hoping to do with the stream is I'm hoping to like turn it into like a talk show. I'm not, I haven't just been sitting here opening cards. We've also just been talking to the chat, hanging out having fun and so it'd be nice to bring on guests once in a while just to talk about what they're doing and and hell rob feel free to come on whenever you want and talk about wishful genies uh love i love the sketch you guys put out the legend of zelda one it was so goddamn funny um um i'll just even share this right here so wish so yeah the npc one was hilarious Right, the NPC one because it's uh, you can't call it the Zelda one or whatever. Um, that link goes to Rob, Rob's YouTube channel, uh, part of the comedy group that he has, Wishful Genies, um, and they recently put out uh, a uh, a video um, called an NPC story, and it's basically what NPCs do an encounter during the legend of Remy. Yeah, exactly. Um, during a game and how they interact with, uh, <laughs> how they interact with, with the hero. I also love happy conception day is super funny. Getaway driver, um, features the one and only, uh, Jeff, Jeffrey Cork, uh, relatable porn is so funny. There's so, there's so many good sketches that they have. So please go subscribe to them. Please go subscribe to them. It's so great. <laughs> oh, no problem, dude. I love shouting on my friends because uh, it's cool that you guys have been. Uh, it's cool that you guys have been still trying to do stuff even while in quarantine. I know that um, I've really been wanting to try to make stuff, but it's just been a, lot, a, a little difficult right now. But, you know. Good on you for, for continuing to hustle. Okay, so we got this pack. Uh, filmed in the summer when things weren't as bad. Yeah, that's really cool that you get, you managed to get that out. All right, we got a Lucario here. We got a Binette. Um, I have no idea what this says, but I'm going to guess that it's a medallion of some sort. Ooh, we got a, we got a Ruckruff. He's got a little, oh, what's that? Oh, I forget what that Pokemon is. That's a Pokemon that he has as ear, and it's like whispering something into his ear. 
Um, we got a, a uh, Yama. Oh, I forget what this dude's. Oh, that's a. I love the clay art cards. I forget what this dude's called though. Um, shoot. He's like he, he was like the Pikachu knockoff. They're all they're and ev almost every generation they have to make like a Pikachu knockoff. I forget what his name, what this one's name is. Um, make sure everyone was distant or outside or bubble. That's awesome. And our rare is uh, a Genesect. Genesect rare. I do really like the way that they have their holographic cards. Really cool. A lot of porn sketches. <laughs> the relatable porn one is really funny. I definitely recommend people go watch that one. It's super funny. Actually kind of fits with uh, people's situation right now in, in, uh, in, uh, <laughs> there's only one porn one. <laughs> that uh, definitely relates to what probably people are going through right now with, uh, with quarantine and trying to spice up their sex life while locked away. <laughs> Love that one. All right, one, two, three, to the front. Oh, I forget what this, there's a lot of Pokemon that I just don't remember what the name is. He's got a butt for a face though. Got a butt for a face. Oh, we got another uh, Clefable. I like that art style. Oh, there's Opal. I don't remember too many of the gym leaders from Sword and Shield, but I do remember Opal, because I thought that her moment in the game was pretty funny. We got a pick a pack. We got an execute. We got a whooper. Go whooper, taking a bath. And oh, we got oh, what's his name? Um, um, Zekrom. Is that Zekrom? I forget. He's from Black and White. He's the Black Legendary. I think it's Zekrom. If you watch anything and you laugh, you got to subscribe. That's a rule, by the way. Exactly. If you laugh even w for one second at a wishful genie sketch, you have to subscribe. If you don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say for yourself. Oh, good. Mr. Octo and I said the butt for a face, too. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Gotta prepare for my night shift. Well, thank you so much, Sep, for hanging out with us. Uh, thank you again for the sub. And uh, I'm hoping that coming back for regular streaming um, is something that you'll enjoy um, and that we'll get to entertain you. But thank you so much for stopping by and resubbing. Have a good one. And good luck on your on your night shift. All right, we got a bandit. We got oh, I forget what the it's Joltix evol uh, evolve form. I forget what it is. I forget what it's called though, but I like it. There's a Marnie. There's a Marnie. There's a Electrike. And Pinecone. I know it's like Pineco or whatever, but it's it's a fucking it's a Pinecone Pokemon. Generation two and like this is the thing this is always the thing that I love when people go man some of the Pokemon they make Nowadays just suck. This is a motherfucking pine cone. This is generation two. Oh, we got fake Pikachu again Don't remember his name still love the art though and our rare for the pack is oh It's fucking uh, Zygarde or whatever the Pokemon that is like 16 different forms Holographic Zygarde. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. He's like made from like, he's like made from like cells or whatever. And like, you need to get like a hundred of them or something for him to become true Zygarde. And he's like, 
He's like a little bulb. And then he turns into like a slug, and then he turns into like a dog, and then he becomes a giant mech man. Or... You have a pine cone. That's Pokemon. I also love the I love the feel of these cards, by the way. These cards versus these cards. Like, I wish you could feel how they how they feel like, but like it's these feel so much nicer. Like these feel so much more like tough and sleek. And nice like they they feel kind of plasticky while this definitely does feel papery like but it's hard to explain but that's how that is all right we got we're almost halfway through they always make them so angular like a curved Pokemon can't be badass that's true well, no, anything that's curved has to be cute. So, like, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon is Celebi. And Celebi is super, like, cutesy fairy. Real Pokemon have curves? Have you not seen Gardevoir? <laughs> have you ever seen Gardevoir? Uh, she's kind of slim. She's not really Kirby. I will say that. In Gardevoir. There's Mega Gardevoir. Um, there's also um Hatton Hattonreen. He's kind of got curves. There you go. <laughs> All right. I think I did. I think I did one. Yeah, OK. Uh, yeah, I did. I already kind of saw what it was, but whatever. We got Lycanroc, which is Rockruff's evolved form. This is the night version. One of my favorite design Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Um, also, the fact that its name is Lycanroc, because if you don't know, the the name for um, turning into a werewolf is called Lycanthropy, so it's Lycanroc. I love it. That just looks like something I should wear. This should be in my bedroom drawer. <laughs> well, it is. It is a hat Pokemon. <laughs> right, Lycanroc. Uh, Mega, I think that's Mega. Yeah, I think this is Mega Yan, Yan Yama. We got double colorless energy. Oh fuck, I don't remember this one's name. It's a fuck. It's a music note parrot. There you go, Weedle. We got another Relu, and our rare is. Oh, this dude's from fucking Sword and Shield. He's a legendary that was lad. I don't know if he's a legendary. He was added after the like main game in, in the DLC. I don't remember. I don't know his name at all, though. But he's cool looking. It's like an electric fighting cat man. Cool. <laughs> electric fighting cat man. I'm actually going to look up which one, what this one's called. It's like Z Zero Root or something. Okay. I know that they added a bunch of Pokemon after the fact of... Well, not like a bunch after the fact, but like they added some. I played the main game and then I stopped. I didn't download it. I didn't get any of the DLC. 
Is he, is this, is he from Sword and Shield? Looking at the Galarian Pokedex, and I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. Um... I guess I gotta look up Gen 8. Zera Aura. Zera Aura. Oh, it's a mythical. I forgot that it's like, there's mythical, there's fucking legendary. But now people can just make Pokemon. Like, that's the thing. Uh, well, I get, oh. I feel stupid for saying that. That was happening for a while. <laughs> oh, he's from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah, because they even did um uh they did new Reggie Pokemon for they did an electric they did an electric Reggie and a dragon Reggie. And then they did didn't they do Galarian versions of, like, Moltres and Zapdos as well? Oh, that mouse Pokemon is, uh, Denied. Or, Didineen. Diddy neen. Diddy neen. There's too many Pokemon. <laughs> There's too many Pokemon now. <gasps> There's so many goddamn Pokemon now. Electric and Dragon. That's cool. I like that. I like where it's like, oh yeah, this is a set of Pokemon. And just new ones come out. Like, that's cool. Why can't I find... Oh, oh, I see. It's different numbers. I see it's different numbers per which generation you're in. I see. Anyways, cool. I, I like the look of him. He's pretty cool. There's a legendary of each Pokemon type, except there's no legendary bugs. That's silly. I love bug. Ghost. Electric and bug are my favorite Pokemon types. Is there a ghost bug? There should be. There should be a ghost bug. Why there's not a ghost bud bug? I don't know. Alrighty. One, two, three. We got Electrikes Evolve Form. Don't remember its name. We got Sunfisks. We got a solar ray thing. We got a Shuppet. We got, oh yeah, he's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a wheel with an anchor. I don't remember its name though. A rock rough and a Reggie rock. We were just talking about Reggie Pokemons. Reggie rock. That's cool. All right, Sheninja is right because it's like a, yeah, it's a dead, <laughs> it's a dead, it's a dead bug. It's like the ghost of a bug. <laughs> That's cool. There we go. Reggie rock. Pretty neat. This is what happens when you open angular, yeah, angular boulder Pokemon. <laughs> this is what happens when you open up Pokemon cards. You, you, you open up the first half and you're like, okay, I, I don't care. I just want to see what the, what the legendary is or not the legendary. I want to see what the rare is. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we are now officially halfway through. My Google Foo is on point. I know, I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu now. Alrighty. One, two, three. We got, oh yeah, Pinecone evolves into fucking this dude. It's like an Octorok, I don't know. <laughs> Beedrill! Love Beedrill. Beedrill's one of my favorite Pokemon. Love Beedrill. And we got a Fighting Energy. We got a Pillipec. No, a Trumbeak. Tr yeah, Trumbeak. That's what his name is. We got another uh, Anchor Boat Man. We got another And our rare is a Lugia. Heck yes. Love me, Lugia. Love me some Lugia. Is this, is this, is this, will people pay money for this card? Will people buy this card off of me? Doesn't look, oh, actually, oh wait, no, that's. Oh, actually. This is a $3 card right here. This energy is a $3 card. That's pretty cool. I like his angular wings. Lugia is a classic and how dare you talk down to him. This is a dollar forty nine card. This is a dollar forty nine while this is three dollars. Are you shitting me? The Marnie we pulled was two dollars. The double colors energy we pulled is two dollars. The great ball we pulled is two and a half bucks. We haven't pulled any V Max cards or any full art cards yet, so. How is Lugia, how is this holographic Lugia less money than, worth less than this fighting energy? <laughs> Don't hawk a Lugia. So a lot of people's like first Pokemon game was red, red, blue, yellow, whatever. Um, that was a terrible, <laughs> I tolerated it. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, uh, my first Pokemon game was blue, but the one that I felt the game that I fell truly in love with, with Pokemon was, um, was, uh, uh, gold and silver. Gold and silver was easily, uh, my favorite. Um, I played silver so much. I actually ended up um, hacking my copy of silver and, and I hacked it. I did the um, deposit into your into the um, PC deposit into the PC restart your game duplication trick and I end up getting a whole squad of Lugias. <laughs> um, but it was it was my favorite game. I loved it. The dog the dogs were annoying. Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. They were annoying trying to catch them all. I will I will say that. But I also love their designs. I love every Pokemon in, in Gen 2. It's so and like Gen 2 introduced just enough Pokemon where it wasn't annoying. Like now it's like, oh god, 150 new Pokemon. Oh my god. Or at the same time, you're kind of like, yay! new Pokemon. I don't have to see the same Pokemon over and over again. But like Gen 2 was like, it was just enough Pokemon where you're like, ooh, some new Pokemon and still the ones I love. So, finding them is hell. Yeah, exactly. All right. We got a, we got a, a Heracross. That's cool. We got a Girafferig. We got a Moo Moo Milk Cheese. Heck yeah. We got a, we got a, we got a, a Beldum, right? Yep. Execute. A Joltik. And our rare is... Oh, yeah, this... This thing. 
This guy, this is a mythical from something. I don't know. Um, there we go. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a card. And I don't know. Yeah. Angu well, it's like, it's got like jewels for hair, you know, Octo is just now commenting on how everything is, everything's angular. Everything is angular. Beldum on I, on Pokemon Go looks like a Wang. It definitely does look like a Wang. <laughs> definitely does look like a Wang. I like to point things out. You need to be stopped. I need to set up a thing where it does like the punch in on the face where I can just be like, stop it. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, no, it was a yeah, there's a Metagross. Heracross is a different Pokemon. Heracross is a different Pokemon. That's a Metagross, right? Heracross is the bug one. He's the giant bug, right? That's what it is. One, two, three. I remember now. Yep, I remember now. I can't be stopped. There's electric spider bug. Don't remember its name. Grass energy. Is this like a $5 card? That'd be kind of crazy. We got a Quagsire. Well, I'm feeling good about this last card. I kind of got a peek at it. We got a Quagsire and a Whooper. Look at that. We got, we got daddy and baby. Don't you ever, don't you ever talk to my son like that again. And they're both taking baths. That's cute. We got Pineco. Try not to show what the rare is. We got a Shup It. And then our rare for this pack is. Ah, this dude. This dude. I know he's from Sun and Moon. I don't remember what. Or not Sun. Oh, no, it, it's, it's. No, it's. Sword and Shield. But this dude is. That's a $4 card right there, baby boys. That's a $4 card right there. Hunky Dory. Oh, this is Zerud. Okay. This is Zerud. Ah, yes, he's a new guy. He's a monkey man. I like how pointy he is. He's like Wolverine mixed with King Kong. Very cool. <laughs> Octo's really good at pointing things out. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. <laughs> yeah, he's like Tarzan. Oh, wait, he's... Oh, from the... Oh, right, from the... Right, a lot of mythical Pokemon are from the movies. So there's a Tarzan character in the in the movie and he like is like his mommy. Okay. In the name of the cards. In the heart of the cards. One, two, three. Okay. Did I nope, this is just we just got two. We just got two rares in this pack. Okay. Well, this is a this is a a, a RRR. This is a, ri a a triple rare. That's a triple rare. That's a Ricky 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 rare. That's a Vmax Cole, oh, what's it called? Colossal, that's it. VMAX Colossal. Gig, oh yeah, it's a, it's a Gigant, I I was so confused about the Gigantamax sing Giga, 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 Gigamax. I don't know. There we go. That's a that is a six dollar card right there. That's pretty cool. This is we have two rares in this pack, so there we go. We got that one out of the way. Uh, we got Toucan Sam again. We got another medallion fucking thing. We got Whoopa. 
We got Yam Yam. Hey, look at that! We got- we have the full line of Trumbeak, Toucan Sam, Pill- uh, Did we get a Pill Peck? I don't know, maybe we did. And our other one- Oh, we got- Hey, look at that! We got both Colossals. We got Colossal V and... Guy- Guy- Is it Guy Jant? Guy- Giant. E Jant it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking saying. There we go. Look at that. We got, we got. So let's see. This one is a six dollar card, and then Colossal V. Um, uh, that's not the that's not the uh, like secret rare one. This is just a. This is a really rare, and this is a really really rare. <laughs> uh, this is a three dollar card. He's smoldering. I did like having him in my party though. I did like, I did like, I did like having him. Cool, look at that. Get it, coal. Smolder. You get it? You got it. Now stop. <laughs> <laughs> Like a rock! Oh, he's like a rock. He's made of rocks. Actually, you if there's anyone if there's anyone you should say like a rock to is I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. I'm, there he is. Cause his name is Lycan Rock. He's Lycan Rock. Oh, Lycan Rock. I'm stealing that bit from Aaron Hansen. We have seven more packs to try to get the amazing rare Jirachi. I've missed my moment. I am ashamed. <laughs> One, two, three. Any, any secret rares? Nope. Another Lacken Rock. Oh, Lagara. Lagara. In Lacken Rock. We got a butt face, spiky. We got a rock helmet, which, by the way, this again is. This is a $2.50 card. This is more than that hollow Lugia. We won't pun issue today. Haha, ha, ha. Beldum Wiener Pokemon. We got another pine cone. Pill pack. There we go. We have we have all three and a it's a holographic fucking this thing. I know who this is. I just can't remember the name. I know who this is. I can't remember the name. It's something. It's something. It's like a little deer. Spiky ears. Is it? It's a grass deer. Mythical Pokemon. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Shaman. That's it. Shaman. Shaman. Very nice. Actually, I'm probably going to put... Mm, no, I'll put these into perfect... I'll put certain cards into perfect fits later. I'm going to go with what you say, Bullet, because I don't 100% know. Do I want to learn more? No, I'm fine with knowing exactly what I know. It's Shaman, but Skyform, whatever that is. <laughs> Perhaps, Marty, you shouldn't be Shaman our pot. You need to. You just need. That was a good one, though. That was a good one. One, two, three. We got Lady. Got Lady. We got uh, we got Lucario. We got a Great Ball. We got a Shuckle. Don't fuckle with the Shuckle, baby. We got Yamin. We got uh, we got a fucking Joltik, and boom. 
Ooh, it's a uh, um 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 cloud dude. Um 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 name. I forget. I forget what his name is. I know that there was like three of these dudes, and they're all mythical dudes. I know there's an air one, there's a rock one, there's a water one, I think. But he's cool. It's like a gin. He looks like a gin. Looks like a screaming. <laughs> Some sharp karaoke. Like a rock. Don't stop believing. Hold on to your view. Street lights. Thunderous. That's what it is. He's a genie. That's what it is. Hello, Purple Hulk. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? A thunderous applause. Ha 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 ha. That was a good one. That was a great one. You need to stop. Um, right. It's thunderous, and then I forget what the other ones are called. Two, three. I forget what the other ones are called. Are the blue ones called thunderous? What's the green one called? I don't know. Flip. We got a mega Yanma. Or is it a different name? Is this the evolved form? No, because it's not. Is it Mega? Oh, it was Mega. Tornadus. Ah, there we go. We got a Sonar. We got a Lacken. We got Beldum. We got another uh, uh, Anchor dude. We got a Kaferi. And another Tornadus. Tornadus. Tur we got two tornadoes. Two tornadoes. Two tornadoes. Uh, but yes, welcome in, Purple Hulk. Everybody say hi to Purple Hulk. Welcome on, on, them on in. Uh, my name is Marty, by the way. Um, I run Unknown Era Films. Um, we are a uh, media production company from... Uh oh, Reese, you're still here. <laughs> hey, fair enough. Tinnitus. <laughs> we are a media production company from Toronto, Canada, um, and we just make a lot of different stuff. We do podcasts, uh, Let's Plays online, web series and stuff, and I've just been starting to get back into streaming again. We used to do it regularly all the time, but with the pandemic and a bunch of personal stuff, I stopped streaming for a while, and this is actually the first official stream back. Um, so we've been... Uh, Basically, we're going to be streaming every uh, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And it's going to be a mix of just hanging out, talking with chat, talking with the community. And also, I recently got back into uh, Pokemon cards like everyone else did. But I just enjoy opening packs, looking at old collections, stuff like that. Um, and so today we've been opening up. Uh, I opened up... Uh, Galarian far-fetched pack thing. Didn't get anything crazy from it. Um, and then opening up a uh, legendary collect or a legendary heartbeat, um, legendary heartbeat uh, booster box. And so far, our best card that we've gotten is um, our best card that we've gotten so far has been. Um, I don't, I just don't know how to say it. I played Sun and Moon one time. No, wait, sorry, not Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield. I played so Sword and Shield all the way through, and I still don't know how to say Gigamax, or is it Gigantamax, or something like that? I don't know, but Colossal. This is the best card we've gotten so far that we pulled today. So, we got four packs left. I doubt you got into cards unless you fight with Pegasus and Millennium Eye. Dope stream, thank you so much, Purple Hulk. Uh, consider giving a follow as well. We're going to be streaming every single week. Gigantamax. Okay, Gigantamax. 
You should rank the cards by how angular they are. <laughs> Hopefully we find something that you see as a cool curvy Pokemon soon, Octo. Yeah, it's through Porygon. Porygon's very angular. All right, we got, ooh, we got an Execute. Or an exec, exec, exu, <laughs> executor, sorry, executor. Another fighting energy for some reason is more, it is, 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 is rated higher than uh, uh, fi, uh, Lugia, but whatever. Beedrill. He has angular hair. He's a fucking palm tree. We got Pillipec. We got Weedle. We got a Matang. And boom. Oh, is this? Oh, this is okay. This ranks now. This is the this is the best card that we've gotten so far. We got a Steelix. We got a Steelix. This is a right now. This is rated at like a seven. This is like a seven, seven dollar card. That's pretty cool. Top's a little weird if you can see that. It's a little funky at the top, but good looking card. That's cool. <laughs> I think he stopped streaming before because of us. Nah, <laughs> it's pretty roundy, except for all those angular spikes. No, you guys are great. You guys are great. I love it. I love it. You mind if I Steelix that one? You guys need to stop. Also, by the way, um, if you want to, we also do. Actually, I'll go back to here. Um, we do have a Discord, by the way, which you're more than welcome to join if you haven't already. And we talk in there all the time. Um, post about what we do in there, post about the videos that we post. Um, just a fun place for the community to hang out. What if I don't want to? Totally up to you. Totally up to you. I won't, I won't hate or love you more. I'm doing it now. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm joining now. I've already joined. Oh! Oh, whoops, I'm mistaken. Okay, hold on a second. This guy is not $7. This, this V, it's not V max. It's just a normal V. This is like a $3 card. But this, Al Creamy Gigantamax. This is a $7 card. This is our best card so far. Al Creamy, it's a cake. It's a cake. Gigantamax Al Creamy. Look at it shine. Full art. Very nice. This is not angular at all. It is a very round Pokemon. I was actually going to say, if you want to look at a cute round Pokemon, Al Creamy is definitely the one to look at, but I figured we might pull one instead. But there you go. Gigantamax, Al Creamy. Oh yeah, that's our best card we've pulled so far. We got butt face. We got a uh, Marnie. We got pine cone. We got electric. We got a shuckle. Don't fuckle with the shuckle. And boom, Al Creamy. How do we? How are we doing this? What the hell? There's okay. Al Creamy, just regular V Al Creamy. Is the cake a lie? Um. Can be. Would be. So, okay. So, in the same pack. So, in in the same pack, we pull Colossal V and Gigantamax Colossal V Max. And then in the same pack, we pull Al Creamy V and Al Creamy or Gigantamax Al Creamy V Max. That's cool. That's super dope. Really, really cool. Noise. All right, two packs. Will we get? 
We need we need hype because there's a lot of there's a lot of secret cards we could pull. And we need to pull them in these two packs or it will be in this pack forever and I'll be so mad. <laughs> I need to change. I need to change the, the hype. The hype man. So that it's like an actual hype one instead of I'll make a new one for sub hype specifically. Specifically. He Al Cremius is bought. Come on. Um, Dan. God damn it. God. God damn it. If it's in this pack, I swear to God. But anyways, all right, two packs left. One, two, three. Metacross. Executor. Ooh, that's cool. That's a cool. Those are cool emo. Where are those from? Pokey aim. Oh, neat. Oh, it's a Rodham. Spraying out water. That's really cool. I like that purple Hulk. Okay, we got a rock helmet. We got a drum beak. Execute. Relu. And another uh Zekrom. Is that who this is? I don't remember. Another Zekrom. Double O creamy in his deck. Oh, I just read that bullet. My god. <laughs> I just, I just read double L creamy in his deck. <laughs> All right, last pack, last pack. I'm definitely gonna have to get um more of these because I like these Japanese cards. I really do like these Japanese cards. I have a, I have a box of, uh, I have a box of. Vivid Voltage that I'm going to open next week. And then I just ordered a box of Darkness Ablaze. And I pre-ordered... Um, I didn't pre-order a booster box of the Battle Styles, which is the new set that's coming out. I pre-ordered the... Um, a couple... Um, one, two, three. I pre-ordered a couple of the... Um, Pre-release boxes. There's usually rare cards in that. All right. Flip. Execute. So if we would have gotten like a secret rare, it probably would have been right here on top. But that's all okay. right. Execu uh, Executor. Uh, Lucario. Um, I think that's Switch probably. Relu. Kakuna. That's cool. Uh, Music Bird. And... Oh, another, uh, another Zerud. This one's, uh, the V version. Full art. Which this is, oh, this is a rare, this is, it's not like a secret rare. This is the best card we've pulled today. This is the best card we pulled today. What is it? Oh no, this is a secret rare. This is a secret rare. Why are you saving the last one again? I will make my money back from these eventually when I do sell them. I'm trying to collect. I mean, I, I'm saving it because it's the idea of like saving a pack from every set. It's something that I kind of want to do. I could just open it. <laughs> I could just open it. It's a, it's sort of the thing where it's like, in theory, I could, yes. In theory, I definitely could make my money back from these. What I what I try to do is I try to collect the entire set and I try to collect the entire set and then from there eventually well this is um this is a right now the market price for right now the market price for this card is $22 so which is pretty cool very nice uh, so we got, yeah, we got a Zerud V, Zekrom, Al Creamy, both of those, uh, Steelix, two Tornadus, uh, I don't remember that name, uh, yeah, we got Colossals, both Colossals, there's the other one, 
That's the rare. That's the really rare, and this is the secret rare. How costly was the box? It was about a hundred dollars, like a hundred, like hundred and fifteen bucks for the box. Dude, yeah, Reggie Rock, that dude, Zygarde, another one of those, Genesect, um, uh, Robot Maid, Cernius, get his name. And then these were from the booster box that we had before. Um, or not the booster box, but the other box. We got the Arcanine from Evolutions. That Vicavolt. That's a promo Galarian Surfetched. So those are all our hollow hollows that we got today, which is cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Magnera. Mag. 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 Should we open the last pack or should I keep the last pack? I feel like just opening the last pack. I really do just feel like I could order this set again. Should we do it or should we let this be our top? Magirna. That's it. Magirna. I'm just going to open it. Because why not? I did it. I did it. I did it. I don't care. <laughs> One, two, three. If this doesn't have a uh, fucking awesome rare right off the top, I swear. Nope. Okay. We got giraffe rig. <laughs> we got opal. <laughs> we got that dude. That Vulcan Pineco. We got a Shuppet. We got Pillpeck. We got a Beldum, and we got- OH YES! OH MY GOD! <laughs> uh, oh, I thought it would be on top. I thought it would be on top like the others. <laughs> bullet. I'm having Bullet pick all of my- I'm having Bullet pick all of my- I would have Bullet- I'm gonna have Bullet pick all of my cards, all my packs now, and they, it's gonna be like, that's the pack, that's the pack. That's the secret rare pack. Awesome rare Celebi. This is a $28 card, but still, it's not the, the cut, well, actually, this is, um, is it the awesome rare? Yeah, this is the awesome rare. That's a, it's really cool art. I love it. It's super shiny. I love the art explosion. Selby's one of my favorite Pokemon. That's so cool. Oh my god, we would have missed this. Okay, I'm opening. I'm never going to just save a pack from now on. I'm going to always open all the packs. It's a little pointy, but it's more like a it's like a fairy bug. Oh, look at it's like gold. I love that. It's so cool. Oh, that's super duper awesome. That's so cool. No, so the um so let me show this. So Oh, is that Al Creamy? Oh no, wait, that's the full art Al Creamy. That's not this one. Yeah, that's the full that's the full art. This is that's not the same one that we got. <clears throat> so this is on card card taku where it's showing the prices uh, for this set. So the Jirachi is the most expensive one at 68 bucks. Then the I forget what his name is, Arong Tangu or whatever. I don't know. Uh, it's a $63 card. I would have loved to have gotten one of these two guys, but um, there's the rainbow version of Al Creamy. But that's not the one that we got. We got a different one. So we did get we did get awesome. We did get an awesome rare. And it was the Celebi, which is really cool. That's awesome. That's so cool. 
Tell a be great times. Come on. Do 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 do. Let's sell a bee. <laughs> That's really cool. That is super, super cool. You don't want that tapeworm looking cloak. It's like called the hero's cloak or whatever. It is pretty like bumpy. <laughs> but there we go. Boom. Oh, it looks so cool in person too. Just the way that it shines. That's so dope. I love that. It's really, really cool. Cool, we got an awesome rare. And it was in the first pack. That's crazy. I love that it was in the pack that we were like, oh no, I'm not gonna open that. <sighs> That's really fun. That is so funny that it was like, <laughs> fucking, I, 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 I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna kick myself for that. Just putting it in a uh, perfect fit sleeve. Putting it in a in a perfect fit sleeve here. Show y'all. So I have I I got different sleeves. There's just the normal ass card sleeves, penny sleeves, and then there's these perfect fit sleeves. So it's perfectly fits the card. But it stays safe, and then you can double sleeve it up. That is dope. That is so cool. Wow. I, I was, that's so funny. What a great moment. What a great moment to be like, oh yeah, well, uh, you know what? We should just open it. <laughs> and then it's a fucking secret rare. That is so funny. That is a great moment. That is a great way to end this first stream back. Um, that is so funny. That is so, so funny. Um, that definitely did go a little bit longer than I thought. Um, so I don't know if I'll say I have a bunch of like, so, uh, what the other thing I had here was I had these personal collections, um, that I bought offline from people. I might save these. I might just go through them anyways, cause there's going to be a lot of garbage in here anyways. Um, this is more for my collecting. Um, or I might save these for next week and open them next week. I'm going to be opening uh, a vivid voltage um, booster box and the vivid voltage. Um, that's a North American booster box. Um, that's a North American booster box. So it's 36 packs and there's 10 cards a pack. Um, unlike this, where there's 20 packs and there's only seven cards a pack. So it's like double the amount of cards, but who knows, we might pull the super secret rare for that one, which um, for for Vivage Voltage, what we're looking to get next week is we want to get this big chonky Pikachu. We want this boy. This is the boy that we're looking for next week. Rainbow, secret rare, hollow, Pikachu V Max. He's the chonky boy and he's worth $475. So that's that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna open this little box up to end the stream. But yeah, uh, we'll be opening up this next week and we'll see. So essentially what I what I did. Obviously, nothing's gonna be as good as playing that guy, but what I did was I just started going online and looking for people who are looking to sell their cards. And I just started buying random sets that, you know, have cards that aren't super like pristine, but it's just people who are wanting to get rid of their cards. Um, and so I bought this set. There's a lot of n not like mint cards in here. But there's a lot of like random, I just pulled like a random card that's super awesome. But here, I might actually, oh no, should I lost it? I lost it. Ooh, that's cool.
Okay, we might as well just go through it. So there's just a lot of random cards in these. It's also a thing where, okay, I, this was the first thing when I opened up this thing. So you can see right away how a lot of them are bent and kind of eh. This is, this is how you know that they're old cards. When you push them together and then they go <laughs> and they accordion out. Thankfully, I don't think, I think there is one card in here that I know is in rough shape and it is a rare card, but because it's in rough shape, it's like, I don't know. But we might as well just go through it just to see what there is. Uh, energy, energy, magnifier. These are a lot of old sets too. There's a lot of random sets in here. Some Neo Genesis stuff, some Neo Revelations. But you can see how like, ugh, they, these have seen, these have seen better days. Mail from Bill, energy amplifier, energy, balloon berry. Energy search, heal powder, a, oh, I'm a base set Charmander. Mm, kind of rough shape. Base set Weedle, um, Grimer from, I forget what set this is, but it's uh, energy, energy, Mr. Fuji from Fossil. It's like random, like, uh, there's random, like, uh, uh, what feels like fucking uh, uh, glitter in here. Energy, energy, T reporter, thought wave machine, Pokemon Center, energy, potion, mail from Bill, Pokeball, energy, mail from Bill, Lass. There's some base two stuff in here, which is cool. Energy, energy, potion, gust of wind, energy. Uh, and en Energaia. Energaia. That's clearly a fake card. <laughs> ah, Japanese Machoke. That's cool. And then a regular Machoke. From base set two. That's cool. I like that. That's interesting. Japanese Staryu. That looks like a fake card. That looks like a super fake card. Plus power, energy. Energy search, full heal, defender. Um, oh, I, oh shit. A shadowless Magikarp. Shadowless Magikarp. That's really cool. How much does a shadowless Magikarp go for? So if you don't know, in the original set of Okay, that didn't work. Magikarp. That shiny Magikarp is ah, oh, that's so that's such a cool card. Um, I'll go from high to low. Shiny Magikarp is like the top tier. Um, seven dollar. This is a seven dollar card. It's in okay condition. It's definitely been played with, but it's not that bad. Not that bad. I think I'm going to put a I think I'm going to put a thing on this. There's definitely some other cards in here that I probably should sleeve, but I'm going to go through them more deeply later. But I'll sleeve this because I mean, hey, it's a shadowless base set card. So if you don't know, so what I was explaining is if you don't know the difference between shadow and shadowless, so you can see here, actually, oh, it's probably better if I show it here. So you can see how along the side here of the picture frame, there's a shadow. Cards that don't have a shadow like this one are rarer. So boom, a shadowless Magikarp. And it's in pretty, it's in pretty okay condition. It's not, it's definitely been played with. It's definitely old, but that's pretty cool. Uh, energies, energy retrieval, mysterious fossil. Oh, there's some real water damage energies. I know there's a card in here that's like super rare that is super damaged, but uh, a Growlithe from, I forget what, 
which mm -hmm. thing that is. Slowpoke, Goldeen, uh, Execute from base at two, Geodude from Fossil, a, te a Team Rocket, Psyduck, that's pretty cool. Slugma. Um, a, uh, that's a pretty crazy Slowpoke right there. I think that's Neo. There's Neo Genesis, Neo Revelation, and something else, I forget. Gigi. Puchiana. Oh, this is from uh, Team Aqua and Team Magma. Mighty Ina. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of trainer cards, a lot of... This is the thing about buying cards online, is people stuff their collections with fucking... Uh, trainer cards and energy cards, which suck. Bull picks from Neo something, I forget. I just forget which is which one's which, which symbol's what. Spinrack. Bill's Teleporter, Lynette's Net Search, Pokede- What in the- What language is this? Another Mr. Fuji. What language is this? That's interesting. Hey, this- So far, Shadow- Shadow is Magikarp. That's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Hey, I'm gonna split this up again. Energy, energy, energy removal, a jung ooh, a jungle first edition Paris. That's pretty neat. This has been played with, but it's not the worst. It's got a little bit of warp. It's not the worst. That's pretty cool. First edition rocket Voltorb right underneath that. This has definitely been played with a lot. Also, this is not, this is not English. <laughs> I just noticed that it's not English. I have to figure out what language that is. That's dope, though. That's super cool. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna put these aside, along with the Shadowless Magikarp. That's cool. First editions are also what you want to be looking for. Energies, lots of energies. Fossil, energies, Gambler, Energy, 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 energy. Potion. The first edition potion? No. Slugma. Pidgey. Ooh, Shadowless Pidgey. That probably is not worth a lot, but it's still Shadowless, which is cool. I don't have a lot of Shadowless cards in myself. Bill. Super potion. Maintenance. Maintenance. Super potion. Recycle. Pokedex. Uh, hollow, 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 and <laughs> I don't know, magnifier. Okay. Okay, we got uh, strength charm, lady outing. Another uh, not English card. <laughs> A super damaged horsey. Oh, that's rough. That is something, some got in there. Some ripped apart energy cards. <laughs> Potion, full heal, computer search, potion, Celadon, City Gym, potion, Max Revive, a uh, base set Poliwag, another not English card, <laughs> of the look, a Fossil Ekans, which is cool, Sand Shrew, uh, not, another not English card, base set 2 Weedle, in pretty good condition. Mr. Fuji, Recycle, Energy Search. We're definitely coming to the to the cards that I know are rare. This is a, f a, a foil, Mysterious Fossil, 10 HP, but it's peeling so bad. Look at that. Look at that peel. Yuck. Uh, Imposter, Professor Oak. Which... We're getting to the cards that I know are in this set. Professor Oak, Gambler, a... Ooh, a Shadowless Machoke. That's pretty cool. It's got... It, this, is, this is pretty well worn, but... Take a look at the back. Yikes. But, definitely have to look into that one. An unknown O from... One of the Neo cards. It's not, it's a common, it's not holographic in any way. 
Shadowless coughing. That's cool. Edge removal shadow. Okay, these are the two. Yeah, okay. These are the cards now that I know were in the set. That were the biggies. It's a first edition holographic for alligator and a holographic typhlosion. And then this, it has a lot, it has a crease down the middle, which is what kind of definitely decreases its value. But it's not too bad on the back. Definitely tricky on the front. These cards are. Let's see. We'll go to Don Glare. Neogenesis. Which these are both are from. Um, it's not a first edition, so it's not that one. They're not first editions. Okay, Typhlosion. It's not that Typhlosion, so no. For Alligator, first edition, hollow Typhlosion, or hollow for Alligator. It does have a crease down the middle, but it's a $150 card for this first edition. So you can kind of see there's that crease right down the middle of the card there. So this definitely wouldn't get that high of like a rating if I were to grade it, but Um, Spanish, Italian, pork and cheese. Okay, I'll have to look into those for sure. But yeah, this is technically a $150 card, but it's very well worn, so it probably won't fetch that. But people still really want these cards anyways. Like, people still really want to try to collect these cards, so a collector would definitely want to pay for this. And then this Typhlosion is... Uh, it's this one right here, so it's $123. So again... A little still a little damaged. You can see that you can see the crease right there. So, but these two, they're still, you know, two parts that people would want to collect. So that's still really cool. That's still really, really cool. Um, I've gone through most of this already. I'm definitely gonna have to look through these like cards that are in different languages and see more about them. Um, where was it? That, 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 that were, oh wait, no, I already, I already went through these. These were, those were the cards I already went through. All right, these are the cards. So yeah, and then there was a pro, yeah, there's these two promo. These are the WB Kids Presents Pokemon, the first movie promo cards. And I don't remember what if these are really worth anything, Pikachu probably would definitely be the best of promos. I th This Dragonite is super cute. I love it. That Dragonite's super cute. Um, I'm just trying to see. Are these the Wizards of the Coast promo cards? I think so. It might be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they are. It is, it is Chonkachu for sure. So we got uh, the Dragonite is right here. And there's the Pikachu. They're both, these are both $10 cards. And they're, these are in pretty good condition. Uh, the Pikachu, maybe not so much. But Pikachu, maybe not so much. Just with there's a little bit there the edges and stuff but still like these are two promo cards if you have the full set of these i have a few other one of these i have a few other um promo cards the dragonite looks like puff the magic dragon it does it's, what's in that bag what's in that bag dragonite hmm what's in it what's in that bag right there bud uh we got a uh gengar from I think these are all like the top cards. They might be. Um, we got a Gengar, a Hollow Gengar from Legendary Collection, which is this is crazy. Reverse foil, 
a, if you, a reverse foil trainer potion card from Legendary Collection is worth 120 grand. That's crazy. Reverse foil Charizard from Legendary Collection is almost two grand. Um, we're looking for the Gengar, which isn't going to be much. Because it's not reverse foil, this is regular foil. This is regular foil. Gengar, there we go. $41 card. Which is still pretty dang good. This is a bunch of scratches on it. There's a bunch of scratches on it, as you can see. But still, cool to collect. Cool to collect, cool to have. Definitely gonna sleeve these ones up. Uh, we got a uh, base set two, Chansey. This is in great condition. This is a, this is in per this is in near perfect condition, honestly. Base set two, Chansey. This is a twelve dollar card. Base set two is not super pricey, except for the Charizard. The Charizard's like three hundred and eighty bucks. Of course, because it's fucking Charizard. But still, cool to have a base set two card. I don't have that card. We got a foil Brock trainer card from I think that's Gym Heroes. Yeah, this is from Gym Heroes. Um, it's not first edition. No, it's not first edition. Oh, if it was first edition, it'd be 150 bucks. That's crazy. Um, 29 bucks. 29 bucks for this card. It's been pretty good condition too, which is nice. Brock's Nine Tails. This is in great condition. This is in really good condition. There's a few little spots, but this is in really good condition. Brock's Nine Tails from Gym Challenge. First edition, Blaine's Charizard, $14.79. Ridiculous. Rocks Nine Tails, not first edition, sadly. Not first edition. So we're looking more at $85 still. That's good. That is that is good. That's a good. That's a good one right there, buds. That's a good one right there, buds. Um, and actually while we're looking, I might as well sort these so we can actually look these up. Yeah. Look at those two as well. And that one there. I also got the last couple cards we got. We got Giovanni's Nidoking and Blaine's Charmeleon from the same set that we're looking at. So we can see what we got there. Um, not first edition, so they're probably not going to be that much. Um, $40 card for Blaine's Nudo King, which is pretty cool. Um, Blaine's Charmeleon, it's not holographic, but it is a Charmeleon. It's not first edition, though. Um, oh, there it is. Right there. So it's a $4 card. Still though, that's pretty cool. Um, we now have a promo Celebi card, a promo unknown card, and a Pikachu jungle. Hmm. Jungle Pikachu. Jungle was the second set ever released by Pokemon. And then we got these, that's Pokemon the movie. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon Forever, the movie. And an unknown promo card, which I don't know which one this is from, but I'll definitely have to look it up. Um, base set. Oh, no, not sorry, not base set. Jungle. Jungle's another one where it's like there's some rare cards if you get first edition, but if they're not first edition, it's kind of meh. If it was first edition, it'd be $20. But it's not, which means it's two dollar, two dollar card, two dollar Pikachu. And then I'll have to look at these un these 
promos because I don't know what promos these are. I'm going to make a random guess that they're Wizard of the Coast promos. I don't know. Oh, there's the unknown J. It's a $7 card. That's a $7 card right there. That unknown J. Which is cool. This Celebi. Pokemon the movie. It might not be a Wizard of the Coast card because Wizard of the Coast cards were like early on Pokemon. Oh no, there it is. Uh, it's a $28 card. So there's the Celebi right there. $28, and then the unknown was, um, oh, right there. Ah, mouse went all over the place. There it is. $7 card. I have this Mewtwo, uh, I have this Entei, um, I have this Pikachu. I got that Zapdos. I'll have to, I'll have to spend it once I get all my cards in order. I'm seriously gonna have to spend a day just like going through all my cards on stream just to show off what I got because there's a lot of random, random cards that I have. But that's super cool. There is some crazy cool cards in this in that was in this collection. I'm gonna have to go through the rest of them to find out exactly what's what but I mean like I'm definitely gonna sleeve up some of these for sure once I'm done but we got this Celebi the unknown promo card Pikachu Giovanni's Nita King Blanche Charmeleon Brock's Ninetales Brock trainer card Chansey holographic Chansey Holographic Gengar, Pikachu, and Dragonite promo cards for Alligator and Typhlosion holographic cards and Fragile's first edition, which is crazy. Um, Shadowless Coughing, a Shadowless Machoke, a Shadowless Pidgey, Shadowless Magikarp, uh, first edition Paris, uh, and then a first edition non-English Voltorb, which I'll have to look up this specific one, but that's really cool. Because non-English cards are, are also worth a little bit of money, depending on which place it's from. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this. This was super fun. Um, definitely have to go through this, the rest of this collect or this collection once again. It was a small collection, so I figured, oh, we might as well go through it on stream. Um, Which is cool. I have an I have like three other collections I need to go through. Um, oh, we're dropping. You're dropping frames there for a second. Still kind of dropping frames. Okay, we should be good. Um, I have so next week gonna go through Vivid Voltage. See if we can get that chonky Pikachu, which would be dope. That'd be super awesome. Um, and then see if. And then I have this other, I got this collection, and the way the guy packed it, um, the way this guy packed this collection for me is he essentially packed it like it's booster packs. Like instead of doing like, instead of doing like this, where he packed all the cards like together, like you can kind of see there's the Pokemon, like you just, instead of this, this is another collection I bought. I don't know what's in here at all. Um, but instead of packing it like that, he packed it in little packages like boosters. And I don't remember what's in it. I have an idea of like a lot of the random, like I, I kind of remember the like foil cards because obviously those will stick out in your head. But like he packed it like booster packs and I, and I have no idea what order he did it in. So that's going to be fun to go through too. I miss you guys too. I seriously missed you guys too. Um... This was a lot of fun going through these. I love just opening cards and I like talking to you all. Um, hey, we pulled 
Fucking... <laughs> the pack we weren't gonna open. The fucking Celebi. We weren't gonna open this pack and... And, and I'm so glad that we did, because it's <laughs> amazing rare Celebi. That was just so funny. Um... But yeah, no, this is, I'm so happy to be back streaming, and uh, it was great that we found a solution to be able to stream steadily um, uh, uh, without tons of dropping frames. I hope this is a good time for people. I hope we can start getting more people to come back from uh, the old days of streaming. I hope that we can start bringing people on to the stream just to hang out and talk with y'all. Um, and yeah, no, I'm really glad to be back and I'm hoping that to start this new year to start getting into just trying to make more stuff um, to try to make more stuff to try to just feel more um, energized to uh, create things and and just to be able to stream once a week even means a lot to me. And I hope that means a lot to you guys. And I'm just excited to, you know, either bring the community back together and bring new people into the community or just have a fun time and just enjoy a couple hours every single week just to say hi, catch up, talk about whatever we want to. Because um, it's fun and I really, really, really enjoy this. So, uh, Seriously, thank you guys again uh, for hanging out with me today. Um, we can go raid someone. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to raid successfully. I don't want to fuck up the internet. Definitely need to turn. To fuck up the internet. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's not muted. Um... Do I know anyone that's true? Oh, well, obviously we have to go to. He's playing Hitman 3, which just came out. We're going to go raid pun. This is my first raid since in forever. So we're going to go raid pun. Go say hi to pun. He's an amazing person. He streamed with me. Um, a couple of, uh, or a, a, like a week or two ago when I was back at my place, he streamed some, uh, Among Us with us and also some Fall Guys. He's a great guy. He's playing some Hitman right now. Definitely want to go say hi to him. Um, I'll bring up the raid message so people can use it. I'll try to spell it correctly this time. Um, copy that raid message so we can go say hi to Pun. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. I seriously love you all. You're all amazing and awesome people, and I can't wait to keep doing this weekly. Um, it's going to be a blast. I'm really excited. You should be excited, too. Um, so thank you again. Take care. Have a great night, you guys. Bye-bye.